Hello, friend. Let's talk about flow therapy or sensory deprivation therapy using a flow tank. First off, why would anyone want to deprive themselves of all the senses? The theory is to allow the mind and body to reset from excess stimulus in our everyday lives. For people who are overwhelmed, this therapy is planned time with no distractions. Thinking about it, the two daily activities we have with little to no stimuli are sleeping and taking a shower. Everything else is sensory heavy. Float tank sessions last 30 minutes to an hour. If you're not familiar with floating, the tank is a large pod filled with enough Epsom salt water to cause your body to float effortlessly. The water temperature is the same as body temperature and simulates a feeling of continuum with the water and your body. Not having to hold your body weight, in addition to the absence of sound and light, makes floating an ideal environment for sensory and activity deprivation. The tank has user options inside for complete darkness or the addition of cool blue or green underwater lights. There is also the choice to turn on relaxing music. I tried weekly float therapy sessions for four weeks and my opinion of floating is positive. I never opted for not having light or sound, so I can't comment on the effectiveness of full sensory deprivation. My praise of this therapy is for the relaxing feel of the weightlessness and the soothing warmth of the Epsom salt water. With the cool blue or green glow of the underwater lamps and choice of nature sounds, float tank therapy is highly recommended. As for mental fatigue, it might be a little too much for someone with anxiety or depression who may benefit from some distractions. The dark silence may cause wandering thoughts, so my personal recommendation is floating with light and sounds. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more wellness videos like this.